There's a story in the Bible of a king named David. He ruled the land of Israel and had many sons. As he was getting older, the time came for King David to give his seat on the throne to one of them. His oldest son, Adonijah, let being the son of the king get to his head. He was full of pride and decided to make himself king. He got his own horse and chariots and had men run in front of him wherever he went. Adonijah thought he was better than everyone else and he wanted to show the people of the kingdom that he deserved to be king. David had another son named Solomon. His mother, Queen Bathsheba, heard what Adonijah was up to. She knew that she needed to act quickly and bravely. You see, King David had promised her that their son Solomon would be the next king of Israel. Queen Bathsheba went to see King David who was sick in his room. She filled him in on all that Adonijah had done and reminded David of his promise to her and to God. David listened to Bathsheba and made a decree for his son Solomon to rule as king. Before he died, King David told Solomon to be strong and that if he obeyed God, he would always have success. Instead of doing things his own way, Solomon was humble and did what his father asked. Queen Bathsheba did the right thing by reminding David of what he had promised. Because of this, she saw her son become the next king of Israel. King Solomon then blessed his mother by asking for a second throne to be placed beside his. He knew he would need the help and advice of his mother, so he honoured her, making her the first queen to sit by a king on the throne. Viewing others as better than ourselves is not always easy, but we can be sure that we are blessed when we are humble.